So in this video, I would like to show you the different communication styles. Why? Because then you will be able to understand if you communicate in a more uh, non-assertive way, in a more passive way, in a more aggressive way, or if you are communicating with assertiveness. So I encourage you just to, to listen to me, to watch me describe the styles, and then ask yourself this question. Are you using one or a combination of these styles? So the first one is non-assertiveness or being passive. It means that you value the other people's needs above yours. It means that you are always saying yes, you fear being unloved, you never criticize, you fear rejection, and you avoid conflict. In other words, people are in charge of your behavior because you think that their needs, their wants are more important than you. And you don't want to be rejected, you just want to be accepted, you just want to be loved. So if you have a coworker that comes and says, um, hey Alan, could you do this work? You will say yes often, even if you don't want to do it. And you won't be able to express yourself because you don't want to uh, create a conflict with someone because you just want to be loved and you don't want to be rejected. So it's more, you say, the non-assertive and the passive way. The second way that you have, the second communication style that you have here, is when you are aggressive. Becoming aggressive is that you think that your needs are more important than the other people. So I'm sure that you have someone in this situation, maybe you that is watching this video, or maybe you know someone around you that communicates like that. What they will do is that they will try to have control over other people and people will fear you. You may say yes, but sometimes it's great to yell at people or, re or really to try to control people or to make people fear you because then they will do what you want. You may think that it's effective, but in, f in front, well, like when, when you are uh, being aggressive, in front of you, people will act really kindly and you will think that they are doing the work that you ask them to do. But then when you leave, they will criticize you behind your back and they will try to um, destroy you, they will, they, will, they will discuss negative things about you, and it's not something that you want, okay? So this style here, you can see here, it's the opposite as this one here. This one here, you are non-assertive because their needs are more important than yours. Here you think that your needs are more important than, than theirs and you try to control them. And now you have the assertive style. The assertive style is when you consider that your needs are as important as their needs. So for example, you will state your needs, you are open to others, you will respect opinions and needs of others. So being assertive is just expressing what you want, what you feel, what you believe, your opinions, um, really express what you want to express with respect, integrity, and you will be able, and, and you will also respect their needs because your needs and their needs are as important, but you will be able to express yourself in a way that people will do what you want because you will have great communication skills. And if you frame it well, if you communicate well, you will become assertive and people will do what you want. And what will happen is that you will get more influence and people will respect you more. So it means that you will, be a, will become a better leader, you will, you will persuade and influence them better with this communication style here, rather than becoming aggressive or non-assertive. So we can see here that the best communication style is being assertive. And this course is based on how can you become assertive, not aggressive and not passive. How can you become more assertive, state what you want, you need, and respect other people, but you will also have techniques so that people will do what you want. Because if you are a team member or if you are a boss and someone that has a leadership role, we, we want to influence people and when we give an order or when we state what we want, we want people to do that. So it's also here being assertive, okay? It does not mean that you will always, um, or always try to listen to their needs and always try to accommodate to their needs and their, their wants. No, you will listen to what they want and then you will decide if you will do it their way or your way. 